Hello and welcome to Dawn Chorus Writes, a miraculous ladybug fan fiction and audio fiction. This is a new series called Dear Me. It's part of the diary series and it is following season five of Miraculous. So there will be some spoilers. So you need to watch the episode first and then listen to this new audio fit. Massive shout out and thank you to Marge at art by Ridley Noor. She did the beautiful commissioned artwork in the thumbnail so make sure you go and send her loads of love. All her information is listed down below. Make sure you send me loads of love for writing and narrating it and um, by smashing that like button comment down below what you think of it and what will happen in the next one because this is the interesting thing. I don't know what's going to happen from each week because it's following each episode. So yeah, make sure you comment down below what you think of it and make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on other treats like this, other series that are happening your way and other series that are happening right now. And I hope you enjoy. Passion. Marinette. Dear me, tomorrow I'm going to tell Alia that I love Kitty, that Adrian is no more and that my future lies with Kitty. It makes complete and utter sense. Bug and Kitty. That way it's simple and right. Yeah, she will totally support it and help me to come up with a plan to tell Kitty. Not Adrian, my feelings. Plan. Dear me. Okay, so, Alia didn't respond in the way I wanted to when I told her. Actually, she did the opposite of what I wanted. But that's good, isn't it? Made me even more confident on my feelings towards Kitty. I have to remain strong. I can't waver. I saw Adrian in front of school this morning and he looks so sad. Like something was weighing heavy on his shoulders. He asked for my advice and after my usual babbling, I told him even just being there for the ones you love can be enough. Which he then used me as an example that just me being there was enough to make him happy. That I was special. And then I kind of freaked out just a tad. I ran. I made an excuse and I ran. Looking strange yet again. See, it's better this way. We aren't meant to be. However, me and Kitty, on the other hand, I need a way to cool my feelings when on a mission. One, I got way too excited when I heard there was a mega kuma. Not good. Two, I called him Kitten. I called him Kitten. Three, after that, I acted even more foolish and I asked Kitty to join me at the cinemas instead of fighting, which led to me stressing and I got hit. I mean, come on! Not cool of me to leave Kitty fighting alone like that. Yes, he is amazing and managed to come up with a great plan and got me out of my stunned state. But he said something that worried me. I was able to convince him, but whilst he held both the miraculouses, he talked about making the wish himself, setting everything right in the world. I told him it was just like us, that there is a balance to everything. You wish a person would get better, another would get sick in their place. You can't have a positive without a negative. Kitty, being the smartest person I know, got it and handed me the ring to transform, which proves how much I can trust him, including my heart. On a good note, I got to be Lady Black again and Kitty looks good in red. I hadn't noticed this the first time we swapped, but his hair is actually blonde and his eyes are green. He is really handsome. However... I couldn't stop flirting with him. Yes, he is gorgeous, but still... But how much was it me and how much was it the suit? 
Does Plague make Kitty like that? As Mr. Bug, he acted more serious. Makes me wonder. He even said his suit has a weird effect on me. Got to admit, not the most encouraging sign I've ever gotten from him. But, oh, at least he didn't hear me purr. I made another flirting comment, blushed, and then for a split second, I am convinced I purred. I purred. It felt weird, but nice at the same time. I wonder if Kitty likes it. Overall, today was a good day. Mr. Boga solved the Akuma and I convinced more than ever he is who I'm meant to be with. Okay, I still need to convince Alia, but I know in my heart who I'm meant to be with and in time, Adrian will become a friend to me. A true friend. Oh, what if there is something I can use with a former holder? Did they ever fall in love? I'm going to go and bribe Little Bug with cookies in exchange for answers. Night. Adrian. Dear me. Marinette. Marinette. Oh, Marinette. I must admit, I do like waking up and she's the first person I think of. To wake with a smile and excited about my day ahead, going to school. I was even thinking of finding a way to confess my feelings towards her. Discover if she felt the same way. I was wondering if a necklace would suit, or a ring, or maybe a poem. I was going to get father, dad's advice, at breakfast. At least approach the subject since he is trying to get closer now. However, when Natalie came into the kitchen, something seemed a little off with them. It has for a while. Maybe they're clashing over... Maybe they're clashing over some business issue, or maybe it's about Natalie's health. After my failed attempt with speaking to Father, I thought she could help. But when I spoke to her, she was coughing and looked sad. I worry about Natalie. That the same thing that happened to Mother will happen to her. She is showing the same signs before Mother disappeared. I kept thinking about it on the way to school and ended up bumping into Marinette. Sweet Marinette. She is so amazing. Can even make me smile when I was so low. I asked for her advice and true to Marinette, she said just being there for them. Showing you care can be enough, which resulted in me almost confessing. Telling her she was special, her running away in a blur of awkwardness. I just wish I could make her feel more comfortable around me. But I have no idea how and running out of people to ask. Yeah, today was one of those roller coaster days. Natalie got akumatized. It was my fault from this morning. As Cat, even the battle ended up being back to front. Ladybug getting distracted, acting a tad strange for her, distracted to the point she got hit. I had to think on the spot and back to the ever faithful spot in the sewers to transform. I admit, there was a moment when I held the cat and bug miraculously. Wishing I could right the wrongs in the world, heal Natalie, stop Monarch, maybe even bring back Mother wherever she is, but I can't. Ladybug explained the balance and it makes sense. After all, our miraculous are there to balance each other out, so a wish would have the same effect, which also makes me fearful of Monarch's wish. What would be the cost of his? Then, to top off the day and reshuffle the whole strange scale, Ladybug, or should I say Lady Noir, was flirting. 
I'm convinced that she was. I was the serious one and she was all over the place. Is that what Plague does to the holder? Is that part of the reason why I'm like that in the suit? More playful than I normally am. I mean, yes, Ladybug was a tad strange before the swap, suggesting the movies in the middle of the battle. Maybe she is lonely at the moment. But after the swap, the compliments, the looks. I am even sure at one point, I heard her purr whilst blushing. I had to run off. It was too strange, to be honest. Yes, a couple of months ago, I would be jumping for joy. But it's too much of a roller coaster. No. Marinette, who is sweet, caring, and awesome, is who I want to be with. Who I love. I'm going to go and quickly check on Natalie now, before bed. Night. Dear me. Same night, but I just came back from speaking to Natalie. She's feeling better now and explained it wasn't my fault, but some other issue that made him get mad. Still feel like I didn't help by asking about her illness. Anyway, she asked about Marinette and I explained my feelings and that I want to do something to show how much I care. Natalie explained that I should just be myself and talk to her. Without the need for grand gestures, but speak from the heart. <laughs> I have a funny feeling that is what Marinette would say if I asked her. For a short while, it felt like I had mother back. Which I know isn't possible, but at least I have Natalie for these moments. Now, all I need to do is rehearse what I'm going to say without plague sniggering or threatening to throw up his expensive cheese. I'll try again tomorrow. Wish me luck. Thank you for listening to Passion, part six of the diary series. I hope you're enjoying it so far. It's just, yeah, it goes hand in hand with the episodes. Um, so make sure you check those out first. If you do enjoy it, make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below what you think of it and what you think their thoughts are going to be after the next episode is aired. And make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on this series and other series that are happening at the moment and other one shots to come and i hope you are good and i'll speak to you soon bye